boom <laughs> happy autumn guys yeah it's autumn in london autumn is one of my favorite favorite seasons in this country i live in england i live in london and the reason why it's one of my favorite seasons is because the temperature is quite nice it's still quite sunny and i really really wish that this was the coldest the uk could get but it's it's not it's going to get a lot colder it's not going to it's going to be bitter we're going to get snow and rain and just lower temperature drops so right now i'm loving it my garden looks really pretty oh that's my chair squeaking by the way <laughs> i'm not making naughty gassy sounds yeah my my garden's looking really fantastic i really got stuck into it this year and I can still see my roses and diplodinias and bougainvilles and all my dahlias. Everything is still in bloom. So, you know, the, there's still leaves on the trees. It's not hardcore autumn yet. And when it does get deeper into autumn, I'm telling you, it's, the, it's one of the most beautiful sights in nature. The, the changing colours of the leaves from that burnt red, golden yellows, to those beautiful autumnal browns. It's just lovely. I really, really love autumn in London. And I also, I also am a lot more reflecting at this time of the year because for me, autumn is a season of change. And I always think, what can I change this year about myself or my home life? And this year, wow. I really did something to make myself proud. I redecorated my bedroom and I did it all by myself. And I haven't decorated my room in years. And the reason why is quite a few reasons. One, I was looking for someone to do it for me and the prices were always extortionate or the, the workmen, the builders who I would maybe be given recommendations by friends and stuff, I wouldn't turn up or they just were a bit dodgy, you know what I mean? And I just didn't feel comfortable having them in my house. And I just didn't think that they could understand what I wanted to do. So um, that never worked out. And I always, always thought that I would redecorate my bedroom with a partner, I'd be in a relationship. And no, no. So I just had to really think, you know, why didn't I just do it myself? <laughs> and I'm quite creative. And I just thought it just seems so hard because, I mean, it really, really was a bit worn out. You know, the, the colours had kind of faded. There was grubby marks left from pictures that I'd put up and there were so many holes. So this is going to be before. Look how grimy the walls get. This is the problem with matte paint, which I'm going to buy again. Hello. And there was, there would be so many holes. If I took the, the shelves down, how many holes would be behind these shelves and how do I fill it up? And the skirting board needed a lot of work. I mean, it just needed a lot of work. You know, I have quite a petite room, but I have big ideas and big dreams. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really proud. It took three weeks, so I'd go to work, and then I'd come home in the evening and I would be sanding and filling and you know what? Thank God for YouTube because I learned to do it all on YouTube. I just went onto loads of DIY um, channels and I got some amazing advice and I just took my time and I made mistakes. I spilled paint, I broke my nails. I mean, I've still got polyfiller. <laughs> inside my nails <laughs> I treated myself to a manicure yesterday because if you'd seen it oh my goodness but um yeah I just took my time and I would recommend anyone who doesn't have support help or the finances just take your time if it takes you a month to finish a room it takes a month just take your time you come home after work and just just take your time sand paint dust sand again clean paint you know, in rotation, and you'll get there. 
so I've finished my room and I'm so happy so I bought some treats for myself over the last few weeks there was um, a really good sale going on on ASOS and some other companies I can't even remember who I bought from to be honest I did say I would never do this again but oh, you know me by now now as much as I love the autumn guys I had the best, I had the best summer. I had the best summer ever. You are now looking at a 40 year old Missouri love. Oh yes, I'm 40 years old. And as they say, life begins at 40 and it, I've had the best year. 2019 is one for the memory books. I went to three amazing countries. I went to America to celebrate the 4th of July and also the Essence Festival which is held in New Orleans and actually it's pronounced New Orleans <laughs> NOLA bucket list that was that was an adventure that I had on my bucket list for such a long time and I went with my friend and her sister and actually we hadn't spoken for about a year we'd fallen out and we reconciled and it's so nice to just learn to forgive and move on and and heal and you know just be more positive with people that you've known for a long time i think in friendships and families you will fall out you won't see eye to eye you'll let each other down but i think there is an art in forgiveness that i'm learning is so healing for the soul and we had an adventure. We went for a week and we had the adventure. It was just sensational, honestly. I would recommend anybody, if you want to go to the Essence Festival, go. Hey! 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 Keep it going! Keep it going! Actually, I had no idea what I wanted to do for my 40th. Well, I had ideas. I just couldn't choose. I just didn't know where in the world I could go. And I just left it so late. So, um, kind of jumbling what happened, actually. In, in January, I had booked a holiday to Italy. When I was 10 years old, my mum took me to Italy. 
sorry, when I was 10 years old, my mum took me to Switzerland on holiday and I met a couple, I was only 10 years old and I, I met a couple that actually showed me the, um, the view from Lake Geneva, I think it was, or up in the mountains in Geneva and they pointed down and they said, that's Italy. And I was just so fascinated and I just, in my, in my dreams, I always wanted to go there. And then I think at the beginning of 2019, I was just like daydreaming about where I could go in the world. And I thought, well, why wouldn't I go to Italy? Why wouldn't I go there? Because I live in Europe and it's actually not expensive to travel to Italy. You know, they have easy jet flights and stuff and everyone's booking Airbnbs now. So it's quite affordable. But I did book um, a flight and a hotel and I decided to stake to stake I, I decided to stay in the um on the um on the lake district one of the lake districts there's quite a few it was initially going to be lake como but i decided to stay in lake magore oh my gosh and the reason why i cho chose lake magore is because if i'm pronouncing it right i hope i am is because i love gardens i love gardens and there is a very famous um, garden in the middle of the lake called Isola Bella. And it's an isolated island with the most beautiful, and I mean beautiful garden. And when you go in, they have white peacocks, there's a beautiful palace. And I just said, that is right up my street. So I, I mean, I knew that I was gonna go there. And my birthday is in August. So I booked that for the middle of August because I didn't know what I wanted to do. To do. I didn't know what I wanted to do on my actual birthday. So we're coming near the time now, coming near the time for my birthday, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't choose. I thought, well, I, I just don't know. Maybe I'll just go to Ibiza, which is just, um, it's in Spain and it's like a couple of hours away. But I couldn't find anyone who could go with me. So I was kind of feeling sorry for myself. I've never been in England on my birthday. I think the last time I've been in England, my birthday must have been in my 20s. I normally go to Paris every year or I just find an escape. And then um, I started to Google. I started to Google, you know, countries that I could go to. Because, I mean, if you go to... My hair's looking so crazy in the mirror. <laughs> if, you go, if you go online and you decide to go away in August, it's going to be extremely expensive. Especially if you want to go somewhere in the tropics. Anyway, I Googled. And Mexico came up. So did Mauritius. And so did Tanzania and St. Lucia. And it was so cheap. I, I mean, I, I was like, what? What's going on? No, I, I mean, it was really, 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 like, reasonable, like, crazy prices. So all inclusive for one week in August, in the beginning of August, for me and my daughter, to go anywhere was, like, £1,200. Um, and I know that's a lot of money, but for two people, that is really, really good. And I'm talking about three, four, five star hotels. So I had to Google this. I was like, why is going to the Caribbean so cheap? And I got an answer. And the answer was, there is a problem with seaweed on the Caribbean coastlines. So when I looked into it, I think there's something going on in the Amazon where there is um, an increased usage of a certain fertilizer and it was making this um, kind of very unattractive seaweed come up onto the Caribbean shores. So people were cancelling their weddings, people were cancelling their holidays because they wanted to have this kind of aesthetic, beautiful beach look. And the seaweed was making it look kind of like cloudy and grimy and dark. And I went on to TripAdvisor and I mean, there's so many people complaining about the seaweed thing, but for me, an island girl, you know, my parents are Jamaican, right? I thought, who cares about seaweed? Because you've got the pool, you've got adventures, you've got excursions. Who cares? You've got cocktails. Who cares about a bit of seaweed? So I just decided where am I going to go, where am I going to go? And it was between St. Lucia and um, Mexico. I didn't choose Mauritius because it was actually quite their cold, um, breezy season. And I chose Mexico. I went to Mexico to celebrate my 40th birthday and I had the best time of my life. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños.
¡Feliz y cumpleaños! ¡Gracias! ¡Eh, eh, eh! ¡Cumpleaños feliz! ¡Eh! ¡Te deseamos a mi amiga! came back to London, I went with my daughter, and when we came back to London, five days later, I went to Italy. So I'm, I just had the best time, and my nieces, my grandnieces, they live in Jamaica, they're teenagers as well. Now one is a teenager, and one is, she's a teenager next year. But um, I love them so much. So they were in London when I came back, so I celebrated time with them, just enjoyed their company, and had my little auntie time with them. And do you know what? It's like, honestly, I would say it's probably my, the best summer I've ever had in my life. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that um, I was just able to just enjoy um, these holidays and I was able to get such a fantastic deal. And I was able to just enjoy the time with my daughter. And I just, oh my gosh, I just, I'm still buzzing off of it. So yes, it's autumn, but I miss summer. I miss summer and you know what I'm not letting go of summer I'm gonna keep summer in autumn and in winter I'm just gonna keep it in my rotation because it's it makes me feel good and I, I love the memories and how can I incorporate my summer memories into my life today well through cosmetics through beauty through fragrance so I'm just going to you know show you what I've bought and if it's a reminder of the summer I'll talk to you about it and stuff okay Listen, 40 is the new 40. Take it from me. You know people normally say 40 is the new 20, 40 is the new 30. No, 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 no. 40 is the new 40. Trust me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to go and get a drink and then I'm going to open some boxes and some treats and we can... Catch up. This is my drink. This is my drink. Tropical rhythms, sorrel and ginger. It's spicy and nicey and sweet. This is Mama's cup. Don't touch Mama's cup. There's a lot of ice in there. I love ice. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Hope you're all blessed and happy. And do you think about changes that you make, that you could make in autumn? Do you kind of align yourself with the seasons? <laughs> For me, um, spring is the symbol of new beginnings. Summer, fresh starts, you know? Time to go bold, do something radical new. Autumn is a season of change and winter is a season of endings. So yeah, um, I just like to spiritually stay in tune with, with nature. I really do, I think it helps me in my life. So, cheers to change. My change has been Stop procrastinating, girl. Get on with it. Work a little bit harder. Have a bit more self-belief. And 
colour therapy, you know? Grey? I didn't, I, I chose grey. Um, the Dulux colour, the Dulux colour that I chose, Dulux is a, a paint brand in, in England or Europe. And I chose Polished Pebble for this side and this wall. And for this wall, I chose White Mist. And it just makes my eyes pop. When I come into my room, my eyes just pop. It's just really bright and fresh and clean and neutral. And I just feel peaceful. And I feel every time I walk up the steps and I come into my room, I'm just like, I just feel happy. You know, my daughter loves it. She was like jumping in my bed, cozy enough. I was like, girl, this is mummy's bed. Make sure your feet are clean. <laughs> so yeah, cheers, cheers to changes, positive changes in your life. Mmm, oh. this drink. Oh, yummy. My hair seems a bit static, so. Right. Oh, <coughs> that ice. First thing from the hall. I'm sorry for my squeaky stool. Poor unfortunate soul in pain, in need. This one longing to be fatter. That one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Ursula is one of my favourite Disney characters. I'm a big Disney fan, as well as my daughter. And Ursula, if I could play anybody, I would play Ursula. I would. I just think she's badass. I just look at her. <laughs> and if you um, like Disney stuff or you know anyone who likes Disney stuff and you want to get them a gift, go to Primark. This was three pounds. But Primark, they have, um, they sell authentic Disney merchandise and products. Do I have a scissor? I don't think I do. I've got tweezers. I don't think I've got scissors. I don't want to hurt myself. Oh, that was easy enough. Such a cool, <laughs> cool brush. So, God, this is going to annoy me, this squeaking, squeaking. Better sit still. Yeah, so I'm going to... This is... um. Ugh. If you have static hair, if you want your hair to be controlled and stay in a position, use hairspray. This is the old, the most old school hairspray I know of. I love the smell of it. It's Elnet and it's by L'Oreal. I mean, I'd be surprised if no one knows about this brand, but it's so good. Look how tall it is. But um, I think every woman should have hairspray in their bedroom because it does wonders. It, do, it really does wonders, not just for your hair. It's, there's lots of little life hacks that you can um, remedy with hairspray. You know, if you Google uses like 10 uses or um, best uses for hairspray, you'll be like, oh, I need that in my, my life. Yeah, it's getting a bit static. I've had a bit of a busy day. Good brush. <laughs> Sitting there, Ursula. Nice choppy, something different, you know? Different hairstyle for me this um this season, you know? Change it, why not change your hairstyle, your hair colour? You know? Change is good, guys. I know we can all be a bit intimidated and frightened by change, but it can be quite positive. And you know what? If you change something and you don't like it, you can always change it back. Think of it like that. Right, next, 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 next. Go for a perfume. Right. Oh. This is Bronze Goddess. Bronze Goddess. Oh, God, it needs a bit of a rub. I apologise. Yeah, Bronze Goddess. This is um, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, and this is the 2017 edition. This was one of my summer must-haves. It doesn't smell anything like the Bronze Goddess that you're familiar with, okay? It does not. If you like black opium, then <laughs> this is black opium in um, a Bronze Goddess bottle basically it's got a lovely coffee rich caramel toffee kind of smell it's extremely long lasting 
and I was in duty free on my way to Italy and I just thought oh how come they've got this on their counter because I know that this bottle design was kind of discontinued a long time ago and I sprayed it and it just reminds me of like a it's like a rich cocoa butter like coconut if you don't like coconut if you don't like black opium you're not gonna like this do not blind buy this and it is so long lasting I have the um, bronze goddess EDP which smells more like the the sunscreen um, scent that everybody's familiar with yeah bronze goddess is famous for having like a sunscreen smell sun sun lotion smell this is like more um, citrusy there's a lot of to me I can smell like mandarin you know they're very like sweet white floral but this is kind of like a caramel white floral honestly it is and this is more of a light crispy sun lotion citrus vibe but you know what wear them together Ooh, summer 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 sunshine in a bottle <laughs> but yeah this nice memories nice memories of Italy nice memories of that sun kissing my skin and talking about the sun kissing my skin, there is a fabulous YouTuber. Um, she's really zany and fun. Her name's Caroline. I think her channel's Exotic Bedouin Beauty. And, you know, we exchange, you know, we talk sometimes. And I've, I've kind of been off social media, so I haven't spoken to Caroline for a long time. So if you're watching, Caroline, I'm sorry. I haven't kept in touch with anyone, to be honest. But... The art of bronzer is Caroline's speciality and she recommended um, Saint Tropez self tan. I have the self the, um, the self tan in dark and very dark but I use the dark because I was nervous to use it. I'm thinking I'm a black girl can I use this and I'm like so out of touch like people are like yeah you can and it's amazing oh my goodness guys you do not know how much this changed my life. You need to, if you need to keep yourself bronze through the winter months, the colder months, you're losing your, your colour because lack of vitamin D and sunshine, you need to get yourself self-tan bronzing mousse, Saint Tropez. It is flipping amazing. And um, I have this, the Saint Tropez mitt, but I bought another one. I bought another one. Um... This is the applicator, yeah? So you can spray it onto the um, the applicator mitt directly or onto your lip. Oh, listen, this is, this was life changing for me. Let me be honest with you. I never, never show my legs because when I was younger, I got teased about my legs I mean I don't know why I mean when I think about it it's probably just jealousy because there's nothing wrong with my blinking legs nothing wrong with my legs okay but I, d I did get teased and I'm not going to tell you who teased me but um, it affected me to the point where I always covered my legs you will never ever ever see me showing my legs I would always wear long maxi skirts maxi dresses leggings jeans you would never ever ever see me show my legs and this year was the first time I showed my legs and thank you so much, Caroline, honestly, because I never thought something like this would work for me. I thought this was a white girl thing. And no, this is a everybody thing. <laughs> this is a everybody thing. Just give it a try. There's lots of different um, colour tones. This gave me such confidence to wear a short dress, a short skirt. I'm never looking back. And I'm so happy that some one of the things that makes me feel a bit blue is that my colour in the winter in England, it, I get so ghostly pale. I just, because I do have vitamin D deficiency sometimes and um, it makes me blue. But the, the paleness of my skin, I just, I really, I just think it's too pale. I look quite anemic. So this is just fantastic. And like I said, it gave me the confidence to wear short dresses, short skirts. I was going for it. Oh my gosh. You Listen, you're going to see my legs a lot more often. <laughs> but yeah, this I highly recommend. Yeah, this was the year of bronzing for sure. Oh my goodness. That really, really cheered me up. 
I when I put it on, when you put it on, it's like this weird kind of like um like dark tea like colour and you're thinking, oh my god, what's gonna happen? You know, am I gonna look like a oompa loompa? But um I kept it on for like four hours. You got to exfoliate your skin first, exfoliate and wash and shave, you know, make sure that you're plucked and pruned, have a wax if you need to, and then the next day you can put the um the bronzer on. But I mean I've been using it so often now, I don't need to wait the next day. <laughs> I do it all in one day. And then um, you just wear loose fitting clothes and it just needs time to um, stay onto the skin. And then you have a nice shower and it all washes off into the shower. And that's it. You get this beautiful golden tan and it lasts for about a week and a half. It's just amazing. And the color is just, I got so many compliments, it's amazing. Right, talking about exfoliants, when I was in America, they used to sell this in England. It's in blinking impossible to, to to buy to find if anyone knows where to get this in England please tell me the brand is tree heart I and mean, I just this is one of the best body exfoliants I've ever found the scent is just so strong and beautiful and the effect on the skin it will give you the softest softest skin ever I just think it's amazing so I got this when I went to um, Louisiana we went to the Walmart and I was buying some sweets because the children in London they love American sweets because you know, m much bigger portions and just unique colours and, you know, things like that. So I've got a bag of sweets for my daughter and I was like, I wonder if they sell Tree Heart in Walmart. And they did, they only had two left. So this was Tahitian, Tahitian Vanilla Bean. <laughs> Tahitian Vanilla Bean. Oh, it's finished though, like, there's like literally none left. Probably just enough left to scrub my bum. And I've started using the almond and honey which is my favorite this is like really really rich almond and honey scent if you don't like honey and almonds you will not like this oh god it's so good um i don't put it on my face this is just strictly for the body like your elbows your knees your feet after a pedicure and your bottom your tummy and your legs this is fantastic if you're going to um naturally tan or if you're going to use a self tan bronzing mousse yeah you must exfoliate guys okay what else what else what else oh and then so okay so you've exfoliated you've shaved you've waxed you've um bronzed up your skin now yeah you're tanned up this is finished i need to order more this is by dove and this is nourishing care shower oil with um moroccan argan oil This is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Do you know what it does? It, I love the smell, it's a weird smell because argan oil's got that weird kind of smell but it's good. This cleanses your skin, it's an oil that cleanses your skin, it moisturizes and protects from dryness and the reason why I'm going to get more is because in the winter my skin gets dry, the central heating comes on, this is fantastic. If you've got Boots points, buy it online with Boots so you can get your points because this is great, a great product. I don't know if it has different, um, I've not seen like another kind of um, ingredient. I've only seen this one, which is like this kind of colour, this amber colour with the Moroccan argan oil. I don't know if there's other varieties, but highly recommend. What else, what else, what else? Oh, there's so much to show you as always. This is a good product I started. I've been using this on and off for years. I only buy it when it's on sale. And this is L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil. <sighs> black women if with natural hair. Black women with chemically treated hair. White girls, Latino, Asian, ladies, men. This is the one. This is the one. This is fantastic. It, it just... It just does wonders for my hair. It is just so, 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 so good. Oh my goodness. And I, I know it helps, look, look at that. I know it helps to make it grow, but it gives it a great sheen. And um, it's just, oh, do you know what happens? It's, it just really, really works immediately. And it just, gives your hair a silky effect and it enriches it with nutrients. I love this product. 
It's so expensive normally. It says a precious blend of six flower oil extracts with nourishing properties for luxurious shine and sumptuous smoothness without flyaways. Yep. Yep. That is one of the best products ever. When it's on sale, buy it. I think when it's not on sale, it's like £10. And when it's um, on sale, it's like six ninety nine or something. But yeah, it's a fantastic brand for all hair types, guys, honestly. <laughs> and it's you know, good enough to just blend into your, your skin as well. You know, for scalp, for skin, it's great. This was a fantastic fragrance. Bottega Veneta, not. I'm gonna talk about this more in another video that I'm preparing for you guys. This is mm, such good quality. It smells, darling, of, um, it's just citrus bergamot. Mm. If um, I could imagine what Sicily smells like, it would be Bottega Veneta Knot. It's beautiful, lovely. If you like your citrus fragrances, and try it. Another perfume, Prada. Prada Gloss, Prada Candy Gloss. Such a great design. Reminds me of like a milkshake cocktail or something. <laughs> oh, it matches me today. This is, oh, I just, you know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of Chewitz. <laughs> Do you know, I mean, all my British UK people, Chewitz is a sweet, like candy, cheap candy, but it's, it just, it does, it reminds me of Chewitz or like a Frutella. It just smells of sweeties. Like this is like proper Prada candy. This is candy. But it's like a it's it's just light and it's not it's not weird to me it doesn't bother me it's not like a sickly sweet I think it's really lovely. Prada candy gloss. Hmm, oh, another perfume here. Missoni. Oh, guys, first of all, look at the design. Invisible dip tube. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? The design is much more fantastic than the fragrance, but the fragrance is wearable and it's lovely, but it's just not long lasting. Oh, look at the mist. Yes. Mm. It's kind of like hairspray to be honest. It smells so expensive. It smells like an expensive hair product. So that's really good to wear around the neckline. It's a lovely um this is a lovely fragrance but it just disappears that is ridiculous this is like aesthetically beautiful beautiful let you enjoy it for a bit isn't it Missoni. I think it's like whoop EDP. This is a 50 ml. It's Italian. Yeah, it's the EDP. I didn't put the lid down properly. Oh, I did. Oh, I thought I didn't put it down properly. Okay, so it's not very stable lid. Look, it doesn't have that click that we're that gives us that security. So be careful with your missoni. Okay, what else, what else, what else? YSL Touche Eclat. This was on sale. This was, I think, a Valentine's edition. Touche Eclat, which is a fantastic, um, like, skin highlighter. Under the eye highlighter. You can see the little love hearts. Let me see if I can focus. Tap the screen. How pretty is that? I've never used it. You just click, click, and then it will come down. Oh, 
gonna put it directly in, see? Yeah, so you just put it under the eye like that. And then, just use my finger. Wow, that's giving me a lot of product. Yeah, so if you have tired eyes, you know, and you just want under the eye to look a lot more youthful. Oh my goodness. You can see the difference, can't you? Wowzers. Put it under my brow line as well. Wow. That is really good. So this is just a limited edition because of the hearts. But the colour that I've chosen is three. Number three. Wow, that has really brightened under my eye, hasn't it? Wowzers. That's really good. So some people finish it with the powder. We can just leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. Yes, 40, you're looking all right. <laughs> I think as the video goes on, I've got so much makeup and stuff to show you that, you know, I'll, I'm gonna look completely different by the end of this video. <laughs> yeah, tushy gla, tushy gla. I would recommend, this is my beauty carousel by the way, and when I clean it and reorganise it, I'm going to do a video showing you how I put it together, but it is, I recommend it, anybody who loves beauty and has loads and loads of makeup, you need this in your life. They have them in different colours, I've got it on Amazon for about, I don't know, it's probably about like 15 quid, 20 quid. But it's worth it. If you need help organising your beauty products, you need to get yourself, um, it's called a makeup, I think it's called a makeup carousel or a beauty organiser. Take this out and put it up there. Sorry for my squeaking chair. Yeah. I like that. Guys, you know what? I bought a professional camera. I have not used it yet. I'm filming this on my iPhone, but yeah, I'm upgrading my life. I'm upgrading my YouTube channel, slowly but surely. Okay, so what else? Oh, I'm dating, guys. Your girl's dating. And um, my date got me a treat from Pandora. <laughs> but, um... One of the stones has come off the ring. So I need to, a parent panda will give you a two year guarantee. Yeah, not for this hand yet, darling. No, only, only for this hand. No, nice bit of costume jewelry. It's cubic zirconia, so, you know. And it, but it's sterling silver. It's sterling silver, so. But I need to take it back to the shop because one of the stones has gone reasonable yeah but your girl's dating yeah and do you know what the first place he wanted to take me was to buy perfume and guess what went in there first man to buy me a perfume I've gone into the department store every fragrance I already had so I was like do you know what I don't want to buy a fragrance but thank you so much and I just thought let's just get a bit of jewelry can't go wrong with jewelry especially sterling silver and gold never decreases in value oh right actually no, I'm gonna show you this yet this is um, a brand rituals let me remember that rituals 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 um, oh I bought this for my holidays completely forgot no 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 that's not true no 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 I bought this for my holidays but because I knew that I was going to redecorate my room I had started to like put things in boxes in my room. My room was crazy. I mean, no, 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 like, you wouldn't believe it. It was mental, it was mad. I put all my clothes on my bed, clothes I wanted, clothes I didn't want, the shoes. It was like a, a hoarder's palace, it was mad. And um, this was in one of the boxes somewhere and I was meant to take it on my holidays with me. I bought it specifically for my travels. Do you know what? My daughter opened this the other day it's so easily and I'm struggling. Good. Now this I got from Perfume Click many months ago. 
and this is by the brand Traveller and it's a Milano refillable perfume spray set. Change your fragrance anytime, anywhere. And this was what I was meant to take. Oh, it's gone dark. This was what I was meant to take with me when um, I was going to all these lovely, fabulous countries rather than take my big perfume bottles with me. Um, I do have smaller ones of these, but they're filled with other fragrances and I didn't have alcohol to clean it out to refill it again. So I just wanted to start afresh and I wanted it to be a bit sophisticated because it's my big 40th. Anyway, yeah, so this is a Milano Traveller. Look at this. What a lovely gift to get somebody who loves fragrances. Look at this. Perfume click, guys. It is, their prices are flipping amazing. If you buy this anywhere else, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. It comes with a beautiful, look, lovely velvet um, purse bag. Show you quickly. The case is nice and solid. Look at that. They come in different colours. And then you've got, I don't know what mill these are, but look, you've got the option of three fragrances. Hopefully, I'll make it to Thailand next year. And um, I might be able to take it with me. But yeah. Perfume atomizers are really great gifts for people that love perfumes. In my opinion. Oh, memories of summer. This is badass. This is badass, I tell you. Yeah, I think buy this one. This is Nux, I think it's pronounced. Nux or Nuxe? No, this is Nux Paris. New perfume. Oule Prodigues Floral. Now, in English, this is called a multi-purpose dry oil, face, body and hair. It nourishes, it repairs, it beautifies with seven precious botanical oils. Oh my goodness, and it's for all skin types. No, 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 no joke. No joke, my darling. At the back, what does it say? <clears throat> it says it has a dry oil texture. I love dry oils. I realise that is the kind of thing I need in myself. I don't really, I like body lotions, I do. But I just like dry oils more. I just think they do more for me. And I like the way that they feel in my skin. And I feel like it just, my skin just drinks it up and it just looks more luscious, you know? So I'll be using dry oils throughout the whole of winter. But this has a dry oil texture. It contains seven precious botanical oils such as repairing argan oil and nourishing, nourishing, new word, and moisturising sabaski oil. Discover it in a new fresh delicate floral perfume. The perfume scent in this is for my people that like neroli. If you like neroli, if you like ylang ylang, if you like any kind of white floral, you're going to love it. Um, it says it's an all-in-one product skin is nourished smoothed even out evened out and beautified hair is soft and shiny proven if proven efficiency okay I'm, I'm not even gonna try that word I don't know my brain's not working but anyway it's a it's an antioxidant it has antioxidant properties and on the and on the ability to help reduce stretch marks Ooh. And it, it contains, I mean, look at the excitement. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it contains 96.9 .9 ingredients of natural origin, 100% botanical oils. And that's my kind of thing. Skincare first, people, skincare first. This is the bomb diggy. It's really thick and rich. Look at the, um, oh, look at the tube, the dip tube. Oh, it's just so good. You can put it anywhere, guys, anywhere. I love the smell of this. And it, the scent is really, really long lasting. And look at the bottle. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? Impressive.
gosh, I haven't filmed in, I don't even know when, since Valentine's. I haven't filmed since Valentine's, guys. Oh. Ah, bedroom treats. So yeah, this came in the post today. <laughs> And I said, when this comes in the post, I am going to be filming because, you know, I'm stacking them up like I normally do. Oh, this has got to be one of the best candles that I've found in terms of longevity, in terms of um, fragrance and how it fills the room. This is what my bedroom smells of, mainly. The brand is Charles Farris. John Lewis had a sale just as i was about to buy it the next day the sale ended i was so annoyed went on to google oh, mm, i love this fragrance went on to google tapped in charles farris because it has to be rubus i found this candle I'm, I'm green fingers right i love gardening i went to the nunhead garden center and they had they had this smell and i was like what is that smell and they were burning this candle and I was like, I have to have it. And it was like, how much? Excuse me, how much? I was like, no, 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 no. This, this to me is expensive, 14 pounds. The original part price is like 25 pounds for this candle, which is, I don't know what the weight is. 300 gram and it's a 40 hour burn. <sighs> I've got one already. Listen, it just makes my mouth water. I just love this fragrance. It says Aromatic Bay. It's Charles Farris, Chandler's London, three, Rubus. Blackberry and Bay, premium scented candle, and they're not playing games, right? So like I said, what was I saying? John Lewis was out. Yeah, and I found it on um, The Hut. The Hut stroke lookincredible.com, one of those websites. Look at my hair, guys, can you see? That's the effect of the hairspray, but um, I think it's the um, the argan oil and the Nux oil, the botanical oils. Just you know, I feel great, man. Look at that. Anyway, let's read it. Got the oil on here though. <laughs> Aromatic bay is blended with sharp blackberry, crisp greenery, bark of larch tree, and herbal notes in this vibrant scent. It's so. So anyway, I think when things are on sale in John Lewis, they kind of go to a um, outlet store and, the, and a good outlet store is The Hut and look incredible, okay? It's amazing. So I was able to get this and it's the same one, but this one is, um, this one is a 50 hour burn and this is 210, but it's heavier and the design is really, really pretty. So, oh. it smells like a it smells exquisite it really really does oh it's just so oh is that a seal i mean when they, when they say premium listen when london do premium when you when london do premium and you see by appointment by appointment to her majesty the queen you know you know it's quality yeah that basically means that the queen orders it so if this is good enough for the queen boo this is good enough for me <laughs> right so i've got to i think i've got to open it in a queen light a queen like fashion dear let's slit this properly oh my goodness it smells amazing do you know you know a candle smells good when you can smell it through the box you know there's that little fly away hair the hair is looking you know what i'm saying Listen, 40 is the new 40. <laughs> Gosh, 
they look, they've put so much detail to their craft. Oh, it doesn't look like on the website. I thought it had like two wick. That's one wick. Oh. 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 Okay. Do you know what? This is not what I saw. Or maybe it is. Oh, it's stronger. Mm, this has got a, this is perfect for autumn and Christmas. It's got a lovely crispy green. Oh, it's very aromatic. Very, very, very sensual. It's beautiful. It's got a lot, it's really lovely, um, like stoneware almost. I think it's really important to have a candle in your bedroom. I think your bedroom should have its own smell, you know? It should have a scent that's always you. So for me, the three there's there's four major fragrances in my bedroom. If I'm not spraying perfumes. One is what my bed linen smells like. I love to use Purcell. Purcell um liquid detergent and I have to use a really really gorgeous fabric softener so my bedding whatever I mix it with is what really kind of makes the room smell really good a candle um re-diffuser and my room sprays okay yeah I think it's important to have a, a very a, a woman especially you know especially a woman that is a lovely part of your femininity to have a beautiful smelling bedroom. Your children will love it. Your hubby or your man will love it. Oh, Mimi, is that you? You just made me jump. Mimi? Mimi? You know, cats, they love a tidy, clean room. Anytime a room is cleaned in this house, the cats love to go in it and mark their territory. But if Mimi, if I find you on my bed, you're, you're going to be in trouble. Because it's been raining and my cats are not allowed in my, not even really in my bedroom, but they're not allowed on my bed. And Mimi, Madam Mimi, loves to jump on my bed, especially when it's been raining outside and she's gone outside and got her mucky paws. It's driving me crazy. But I do have like a lovely sheepskin rug that she sleeps on. But she's a diva. She wants to sleep on my bed. Don't go on my bed, Mimi. You've been in trouble. Okay. This is what happens. I forget what I buy. What is this? Just like what I was talking about. Another scent for my room. So it's Blackberry and Bay. And this is stunning. This is one of my favorite brands, Rituals. Thank you. I'm really proud of Rituals. I like their ethos, their products. Their, their, um, I just like the way their products look and the, this scent. This scent is like one of my trademark fragrances. So this is, this is called Flourishing Hair and Body Mist. Oh, they've changed it. It used to be called Bed and Body Mist. Now it's Hair and Body Mist, which makes more sense. <laughs> it's so lovely. This was my summer with a nice bamboo lid. This was my summer. This is my everyday. But I like when I go to bed. Creamy, floral, cashmere fragrance. It is so unique. I can't think of any fragrance that smells like this. It's absolutely sensational. Absolutely sensational. And you know what, darlings? When a woman's hair smells good, life is good. Remember, I told you, when a woman hair, when a woman's hair smells good, life is good. <laughs> it's an easy philosophy, you know. It's an easy philosophy, just try it. God, the hair looks so healthy, doesn't it? So I can't stop playing with it. Yeah. Um, I've talked about this in another video, but this is amazing. Recommend it. Um oh ASOS! ASOS! 
I have an ASOS account and when they have a sale, I've got friends that use my account and some of them are students, so they give me their student discount, get 25% off. So I wanted to look really autumnal and let's see if I've got it right. And if I have, then I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on anyway. I ooh, ooh, it looks good already. I bought a seasonal jumper. And I bought a large one because I want it. I like I like my jumpers to kind of go off shoulder. I like them to look really stretched and baggy. I hope it looks good. Oh, the colour is lovely. Oh, it feels really nice. I thought it was going to be greener. Oh, it smells so new. Contains wool. Contains wool. The brand is Be Young. Yeah, Be Young, guys. And it's called Olive Night. That's a really good name to call it. Because it's a definite... Oh, it's not, it feels amazing. I thought it was going to be a lot greener, but yeah. It feels so good. I've got to wear this. I'm going to try this on. And... Let's put this over my shoulder. And... I've got a bag to match. I need to stop buying handbags. I've got too many. I need to like sell them and we'll start giving them away now. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, it feels so not. This feels really, really nice. Ooh, the textures. How cute is this little bag? How cute, it's green, olive green. Oh, because you, I mean, sometimes you just don't need a big bag, you know? Sometimes when I'm just going to work, all I need is my house keys and my debit card and my phone and everything is slimline, you know, pack a gum. What else do you need? Oh, this is so cute. I didn't know it was this small though. This is not ridiculously small, but it's cute. Like I said, it holds the essentials these days. It's not going to hold your iPad, but who, I mean, iPads are for home now, aren't they? Like, your phone is your iPad, your, your, your mini computer, isn't it? God, they've wrapped it really well. Like a tortoise shell. Um, handbag chain. Because it's really wrapped in cellophane. Oh, I'm trying to use less plastic. Like they didn't really need to use plastic. They could have used paper, you know? They could have used paper to secure it from being damaged or, you know, in transit. But they chose to use plastic, which now, I don't know if it's recyclable, recyclable and now I'm just going to put it in the bin, which I feel really guilty about. I'm going to put that, pla I'm going to put all the plastic in the recycling bin, but it's not necessarily, like plastic's not necessarily recyclable. So why can't they just have wrapped this in the tissue? Okay, so how does this work? Oh, this is really cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so cute. So hold on, what do I do with this then? So that, okay, so there's another chain and that gets attached to her. Okay. This is such a cute little bag, man. Oh my gosh. I would put that at the front. Oh my gosh, like a jumper. Oh, look at little paper. <laughs> Put a little lipstick in there. Yeah. This is so cute. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, it's ASOS brand. White clean only. Oh, this is such a cute autumnal, cute little bag. Oh. It's 
some sexy black jeans. Yeah. Yeah, some sexy black jeans. Okay. I think I'm going to change now. You change. Oh, it feels amazing. I haven't taken the tag off. Oh my gosh, guys. I've got my... Ooh! Oh, I love it. Oh, I love... look at the sleeves. That is so me. That is so me. I'm so glad I've got the large. So, look, you know, if you want to sex it up, you just drop it down. How cute is that? How cute is that? <sighs> Happy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> there was one more thing in that ASOS bag. Look there. That is the cutest little bag ever. one more thing in that ASOS bag. Look at this chocolate. A little something for you. Love ASOS. <laughs> Cadbury Joy Fills. Naughty. Guys, you know, I've been going to the gym. I actually love the gym. I never thought I'd love the gym, but the gym has YouTube. Okay, you can go with your earphones, you listen to music, and people leave you alone, and you can watch programs and catch up with life and lose a couple of pounds so i've lost a stone and a half i'm now just under 12 stone i'm so happy i started off 13 plus stone <clears throat> now i'm just under 12 stones i'm 11 point something and um, my goal is to be 10 stone i just want to get there and my goal goal is also to just like shape up and just look a bit more sexy things in here oh I forgot I ordered this do you know what I like about ASOS ASOS do mix a delivery I got the NARS Climax mascara it was on sale for like five pounds packaging is so boom I'm really getting into NARS I'm a matte girl but NARS foundation fantastic and um, NARS concealer. I am so impressed. <sighs> no, see, no, hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How? Look how cute and dinky this little mascara is. I mean, hello, hello. That is so cute. I think I wanted this because it was tiny and um, the brush I think is good. Yeah, that is the kind of brush I love for my, my mascara. Oh, it's, I love that smell. That brush is perfection. Yes. I'll put it in there now. Actually, the only thing with that is it might come out on the side. There's an opening, look, can you see? So that might have to go into a little purse bag. Look at that little velvet purse bag I might use that I got with the Traveler. Okay, so, got two more boxes here. And some other perfumes and things to show you. Oh, this is Urban, Urban Decay. Let me see the dispatch note. Yeah, Urban Decay, I ordered Urban Decay blackout eyeshadow and two brushes i wanted to i want a like a really sexy smoky eye for the autumn and the winter you know this look can you imagine this look for the smoky eye and little red lip and i loved when the, when this arrived in the post how it arrived 
so yeah i the reason why i bought the urban decay eyeshadow is because i googled what's the best black matte eyeshadow and this kept coming up and then i went onto youtube and i looked at some reviews and everybody was like this is the badass this is a badass um black eyeshadow for put that there for um smoky eye or general use why can't i get it out oh it's sealed so that's the colour name, Blackout, which was the name of a band that I used to be in years ago in my 20s. I've got stories for days. How do I take this out? It's not coming. Do I open it at that side? Why can't I just pull it from the bottom? I'm not going to use the packaging anyway. Come out, love. Come out. Very pretty, wow, that is such a rock chick. Look at that. Can you see my Monstera Adonosi? Can you see my Monstera Adonosi hanging from the window? <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm a plant lover. I've got green fingers, I love gardening, but I also, I have an abundance of house plants and I didn't realize there was like plant, plant junkies on YouTube. So I think I'm gonna do a video to show you some of my plants. And I've got this beautiful variegated Monstera Deliciosa that I want to repot and um, might do a coffee chat and repot in session if you're interested in plants. And if you're not interested in plants, I'm still gonna do it. Okay, so let's have a look. Ooh. That is new, that is fresh. That is fresh. Come on, let's do it, let's do a test. Okay. And it's matte. Wowzers. Where are you going to live? You're going to live in my drawer. Do I have any other? Yeah, I can put it there. I have some. Oh. This is a YSL um, eye palette that I bought the other day. It was one of my birthday treats. Look at the colours. Look at the colours. How beautiful are those colours? Now, that can fit in the bag, couldn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get obsessed with all the things that can fit into this little bag of mine. Right, so I've got my compacts there. Makeup wipe. Oh, another little palette I've got. But I've used this, this is Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. It's a lovely um, highlighter. Highlighter, blusher. Um, I don't know what they are. What is it, what did I buy? Yeah, blush and highlighting powder. So, diamond powder and duo glow. I haven't even used it, I don't think. Let's see. My skin's glowing as it is. Those lovely botanical oils I'm using. Yeah. And then we use a lighter one here under the brow bone. Okay, it's just very, it's a lovely silky feel. But can I just say something? All right, Natasha Denona, great quality. Tasha Denona. If you've got teenagers that love makeup, or if you love makeup and cosmetics, it's a fantastic line. It's so easy to clean. You can it stores so much. It stores my skincare, all my lipsticks, all my lip liners, my mascaras, my nail varnishes my tweezers, my fragrances. Look, put my fragrances here. Oh my gosh. Guys, this one is the bomb, 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 bomb. Shalimar deodorant, but I don't use it as a deodorant. What I do when I spray it, I spray it out. 
I don't spray it under my arm. I don't really spray deodorants under my arm. I like to use natural deodorants. Mm. This is one of the best deodorants ever. Shalimar deodorant by Guerlain. It's like a body spray. It's so nice, so nice, so nice. I recommend it. Oh, it smells so good. This was another lovely fragrance to wear this summer. This is Alien Floral. And this is a 60ml Alien Future Floral. I've got this one and I've got this little dinky 30ml size. The 30ml is the cutest. If you like cutesy kind of looking bottles, get the 30ml. This, I don't wear the original Alien. I would never buy it because I don't, it's just, I can't wear it. It makes me feel a bit nauseous. This is... Floral, sweet, beautiful, summery fragrance. I love it. It's on my perfume rotation. And this one I have to share with you. This is uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Travel size. Mm. When I think about it, when my date wanted to buy me a perfume, I should have got a refill of this. Oh, the big box. We have the big box. Now, there should only be two items in this box, but you know companies love to send you massive sizes. Never again, ever again. Boo to Sky TV. We've got YouTube, love. We've got Netflix. No, we've got Amazon Prime. We've got BBC iPlayer. Oh, right. The fragrance of my room. I got this from Look Incredible. Look Incredible always seem to have voucher codes. And all you have to do, guys, is just go into Google and just type in voucher code for Look Incredible. It's as simple as that. And I always wanted to get this. Oh, I can hear some. Oh, but the lid came off of it. I always wanted to get this. It's so expensive. I've got 25% off, 25% off the original price. And this is Rituals by Sakura. Look how long it is. And it's just like the perfect, 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 perfect fit into my room. I'll show you where I'm going to put it afterwards. And it's a re-diffuser. And I promised myself that when I finished decorating my room, I would treat my room to this specific re-diffuser. Because... Because of its height and because of the smell. The smell is the same smell as the um, the hair and body mist. It's exactly the same smell. And the scent is cherry blossom. I think it's rice milk. Rice milk and cherry blossom. Okay. So these are the instructions on how to use it. And it, they do last for months as well. It's 230 ml fragrance. I would recommend people, you should always look at how to use a reed diffuser so you can get the best out of the fragrance. I use them all around my home. And um, look how long the six are. 
I love that length. One beautiful fragrance can create many beautiful memories. Why do I feel confused? I feel confused. Why do I like that? Oh. So you, I open the lid, you put the sticks inside, and then you put that on top. Yeah. I love how crisp white it is. It is so fitting to my bedroom design let me put that in put that back in and then <gasps> okay put it in at an angle people learn from my mistakes here god and bet it so that was a drop that was a long way down yeah so um i'll show you at the end how i display it now also in that box it's just so heavy it should just be a candle why does it feel like there's an elephant in here in here 30% off um, companies I'm not going to use. You can't just be like, wow, I cannot believe it. I got the candle. Because it was, honestly, the, the sale was just, the discount was just too good to resist. Oh, it's based on natural sunflower wax. I think when it's a soy candle or a, a special kind of wax candle, the quality is just outstanding. <sighs> and again, it's that same fragrance. I love it. It's so heavy. This is a 200, 290 gram candle. Oh, it's so pretty. Wowzers. Oh my goodness, it is so strong. Whoa, that is a strong scented candle and it's exactly true to the fragrance that I love. But look, again, it's white, which is perfectly fitting to the grey tones that I have in my room. Can you all see? It's really heavy. This brand, they go through a lot of effort in regards to how they design their products and you know their merchandise and how they display it and how they deliver it to you. I love it. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Too good. These are the kind of gifts that I want now. I want my candles and my refills of the things that I enjoy. Because they're so bloody expensive. I'd recommend this. Go to Rituals, they've got so many different fragrances, but this is my favourite one. It's it's just to me it's very bright, it's very clean, it's sweet smelling, it's pretty, it's very, very girly, like feminine fragrance, and it's just it smells so unique. Oh my goodness. Right, I've got another little box here. But I need to have a bit more. Drinky, drinky, drinky. Just a reminder, sorrel and ginger. I love that kind of ginger, spicy bite. In colder weathers. In colder weather, ginger just gets to the back of my throat and it's just got a nice comforting kind of taste. Peppery. Spice. Peppery, ginger, peppery, spicy. I can drink this every day. Yummy. Okay. It's the last box, and then I've got some other fragrances that I can share with you. It's a nice, healthy, long video. And I might just do a little smoky eye look. Now where did I, what did I do with that thingy bobby to open? Um, did I put it back? I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there's some Urban Decay brushes that I haven't um, opened yet. I'll open them after I open this. You know when I open the Urban Decay packaging, I forgot to show you the brushes. Oh, and there's another thing I forgot to show you. 
it on. Take a look at her. Again, too much plastic. Companies, can you stop using all this plastic? There are other ways to wrap things. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Another bedroom treat. It's a candle. So look, look at all this bubble wrap. But I use it. I'm going to use it because I'm selling some things. So hopefully if we all keep recycling those things, maybe it just doesn't, it won't, it won't be um, disposed of incorrectly. If we just keep recycling with each other, friends and family and stuff like that. You know, we, we need to get a grip on the plastic usage, right? It's too much. If you guys know any tips, please let me know. Right, Village Candles, one of my favourite brand of candles. And this fragrance is so me in the winter. I normally use this in my bedroom and my bathroom. It's a very clean, uplifting scent. And it's called Pure Linen. It's, a, it's really strong. Like, actually, these fragrances... If I burn them in the room, I probably wouldn't be in the room unless the window's open because it would give me a headache. So you can close your bedroom as long as everything's safe. Close your bedroom for like 20 minutes and when you come back, your room is going to be filled with fragrance. But yeah, I would definitely recommend burning these. Just crack the window open a little bit because, you know, they're really strong scented, strongly scented. So this is really nice. Sorry, like I said, polyfiller under my nails. <laughs> Pure linen. Cotton, it's got a lovely fresh laundered. Mm. Do you know what it reminds me of? Freshly washed hair, freshly, freshly washed bed sheets. Like it's like the best kind of clean linen, bed linen. Oh, powder, powdery, but not, not that kind of powder, not baby powder. It's it's like so it's like it smells like dove soap it smells like really really good dove soap creamy and more expensive smelling and that reminds me of this was one of the fragrances i absolutely loved when i was in mexico i wore this a lot this is me oh it smells like can't laugh like I used to I don't know what I did to my throat this is so simple but so sexy in my opinion this is blush blanc or blanche blanche by Byredo it's a niche brand perfume I just love this perfume oh and it's just giving me some flipping good memories you know, we're sunning ourselves all day in Mexico, right? And then you go upstairs and you have your shower and then you go downstairs to the Japanese restaurant and you go over to the Italian restaurant and you dress to the nines, you know. you freshly tanned skin. You know, your skin's just been washed and moisturised and then psh, psh. It's got this really cool magnetic lid, look. like the upgrade from the Jennifer Aniston perfume that I love this is it it just smells so super super clean like laundered sheets perfectly washed hair it just is super it, I just I love it I think uh, it's underrated to be honest I love clean smells I love it and it lasts for ages on me ages and ages and ages and the compliments, oh, you smell good, you smell so clean, you smell so comforting. And those are the kind of fragrances I like. Oh, I love that smell. Mm. Um, I have another Byredo fragrance that I've had for quite some time. It's called Bal d'Afrique, but I can't wait to talk to you about it in another video. Um, okay, so fragrances that I... Now, hold on, before I talk about the fragrances, let's 
let me finish the other things that I had here to show you. So remember I like the Rituals fragrance, Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. This is the body lotion and I keep this in my bedroom in a drawer next to my bedside table because my room is very, very bright and light colours. Uh, it's got whites and soft tones of greys and my bedding, my bedding is mainly richness my bedding is um, mainly white and you can't get into my bed without clean feet your feet have to be clean and soft so I have um, baby lotion sorry I have baby powder in my bedside drawer and I have the body lotion to just rub into the ankles and the feet because I wasn't really looking after myself for some time and I've got really hard feet and you know I just decided change got to change that and look after myself a lot more and especially when you're dating and you're kind of like doing footsie movements with your lover I tell you what when you rub your feet on a man and they are soft and silky turns him on I hope they never discontinue this fragrance because I'm gonna be in trouble okay so urban decay urban decay um, urban decay this is a detailed smudger oh they've sealed it I've just got my nails done yesterday and I don't, I really don't, I normally get shellac, but um, I just got um, normal painted nails, so I don't want to destroy it. You know, in these videos I'm always mashing up my manicure <laughs> to be a bit more ladylike these days. So this is a detailed smudger brush. Look at this brush, if people are into brushes, look at this makeup brush. This is so damn cool. And these are... Um, synthetic brushes too look at that that is going to help to create the perfect smoky eye can I get the detail how do I get the detail let me see tap the screen I know when I tap the screen it does some amazing things but you get the gist you can see it right so I put that with my brushes and it's so thin, look how thin and pretty that is, look at that. Really nice design. I have a large makeup brush collection because I was a MUA for, well I'm still a makeup artist. I'm a qualified beauty therapist, but um, I mean I'm still a makeup artist, but I'm more invested in skin, skin care. I specialise in skincare these days, darling. But yeah, makeup brushes were my thing. Especially when I was starting out. Oh, this one is called um, The Finger. <laughs> the Finger by Urban Decay. Let's see why it's called The Finger. That is flipping beautiful. How cool is that brush? It does, yeah. Because I always use my fingers to apply makeup. Let's see. Oh my goodness. No, that is blinking amazing. Yep. The finger. Wow. Oh, it smells so us. Guys, listen to me. Listen to me, right? I smell really good. A combination of this. This and this. If you want to smell sexy, clean, bright, fresh, with a little hint of sweetness somewhere, but the sweetness is not candy, it's not fruity, it's just a 
very premium floral. It is those three. <laughs> no, darling, come on now, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Fragrance, Italy. So we stayed in Stressa and we stayed in a beautiful hotel called the Regina Palace, which was a really grandeur hotel with um, Baroque design, like really authentic, uh, exaggerated, opulent Italian furnish furnishings and design. It was absolutely sensational, beautiful. The lake was literally a two minute walk from the, um, from the hotel. Not even two minutes, it's just across the road. You get in a little boat um, and it takes you over to a choice of three islands, but we just wanted to go to Isola Bella. And when you get to Isola Bella, they have the most beautiful white, white, white peacocks just roaming the gardens. Before you get to the gardens, you have to go through to the palace and you get to see beautiful history of art and design and furnishings. And then it leads you out into the garden. Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I wore this that day because Shalimar Souffle is a lovely fragrance to wear. It was, I mean, the weather was warm, but it wasn't sweltering heat or anything like that. It was just lovely and it was a little bit breezy. And you know, you're by the river, so, well, you're not the river, you're on the lake. So you've got the lovely cool air and the mountain air, the mountain air. And so I wore Shalimar and this is Souffle de Parfum and it's, oh, this fragrance is just one of a kind, but look at this design. How gorgeous is this? And it's just got a, like a lemon. Oh my goodness me, no. Caroline Exotic Bedouin Beauty got me into this and it is just brilliant. It smells nothing like Shalimar. It's, mm, it's like a lemony. I don't know. It's just so nice, guys. It's lemony. Lemony. It's a lemony. It? it's so beautiful how did they get this so right I have nothing in my collection that smells like this well I have the souffle de parfum the blue the dark blue one and this is the eau de parfum that one I think is um, like a Lieksa or something I'm not sure I don't remember but this one is so cool just, they smell very the same. One is more has is more concentrated than the other, I think. This is fresher. The souffle eau de parfum is fresher. It's beautiful. And I also wore Oscar de Laurenta's Bella Rosa. This is such a pretty fragrance. The design is really sweet and the fragrance is quite sweet, I must say. So this is the, the perfume bottle and it's in pink. They have it in white, which is the Blanc. And this is the Bella Rosa, the pink one. It's so pretty, guys. If you want to smell pretty, then this is the one you wear. And um, I got quite a few compliments from the fellas. I went to a white boat party. And I had this in my bag because I did a little video for Instagram and I sprayed it and this guy went, what it was that? I said, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that I got my secrets and he, was, and he was like flirting and talking. We had such a laugh. It smells so good. It's beautiful. If you like your um, Misty or EDP, you'll love this one. 
and another fragrance that I wore in the summertime was the ever faithful Chanel number five EDP and it's in the red bottle which I think I've opened with you guys many months ago and this I would recommend as a lovely um, Christmas gift birthday gift they still sell it and this is perfect for autumn it's perfect for any time of the year day or night and this reminds me of my summer too my birthday <laughs> it wasn't my birthday perfume but my birthday month I sprayed this quite a lot mm. this jumper is going to smell sensational yeah it's a lovely autumnal look isn't it those like dark reds and greens what else is there um oh yeah i bought this actually this was like i can't remember where i bought this one but it was so 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 discounted heavily discounted i'm not sure how to pronounce the brand name is it ciati or chiati chiati siat don't know but it's such a fun i like my palettes my my makeup palettes and this is Ciati or Ciati or Ciat Glitterstorm. And it's um really girly. Really, 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 really girly. How cool is that? So fun. And their palettes are flipping amazing. If you can get your hands on a oh, do you know where I bought it from? ASOS. ASOS, fantastic company to buy brands um to buy makeup from. Um, their eyeshadows are amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I got another palette from them. Yeah, I got them from ASOS. Um, Jessica Rabbit. I think I'm going to do some looks with you guys, some get ready with me's. But I normally do get ready with me's with music, and maybe I'll just do like a nice chatty one. But yeah, so palette if I have any room and so I've done that fragrance oh for my birthday I really wanted to get a Zerja fragrance but it's nearly 300 pounds and I'm mother and I've got responsibilities yeah and I could go on another holiday with the £300. I just, I'm not that rich, unfortunately. So I, I couldn't treat myself to it. It was £275 for this 100ml fragrance. Oh, this smells so good. This is such a brilliant fragrance. <laughs> this is another fragrance to remind me of my amazing summer. This is um, Victoria's Secret, Secret, sorry, Victoria's Secret Angel. And I think the design is amazing. It's a really beautiful floral perfume. It's fruity and fun and sexy and it's not overwhelming. It's not weird. It's just perfection. Angel. Really simple but lovely. Yeah, so I couldn't afford this Zerjoff perfume, which is called Italica. And I'm asking the perfume gods, if you love me, bring it to me. It's a limited edition by Harvey Nichols. I have a couple of um, samples of it. And I have a dupe of it. But nothing beats the actual original. And I would love to have it one day. But I'm not paying nearly 300 quid for it. I'd pay 100 quid for it. I'd pay £150 for it. I'm not paying for it nearly 300 pounds. No. But I am dating. So you never know. I might get spoiled. You know, life is changing changing the key word <laughs> anyway i was able to treat myself to a couple of zerjoff fragrances and i got la tosca and this just reminds me of my love of gardening packaging is sublime it's such a small mil size it's a 30 mil size but um i was it was affordable it's absolutely gorgeous this is if i spray this it's going to fill the room, yeah. 
So it's Casa Murati, made in Italy. There were so many fragrance shops when I was in Italy. So many, so many. But so, uh, surprisingly, they didn't have any niche in the town that I was in. And I was really looking for like something unique and they didn't, they had everything that you're able to get online everywhere. So this is La Tosca. And they had a grand ballroom in the hotel that we were staying at. And one night I wore this. Oh my gosh, this is sublime. This is sublime. This is fragrance. This what this this makes me feel like you know what? Just buy the damn Metallica. It's worth it. This is so unique and so beautiful. And I don't know, it's really powerful, man. You gotta love fragrance to be able to wear and own something like this, but this if you want to if you want to make your mark if you're if you're going to like a ball if you're going to a grand event like a wedding or a special occasion or red carpet la tosca any zerja fragrance to be honest is going to make you stand out from the crowd so i'm just trying to change the, the lighting it's going to make you stand out from the crowd i don't know it's, it reminds me of gardening I don't know it's just something really and it's they've all got like some cheeky stories at the side so this is la tosca eau de parfum right and on the side it says oh miserable wretch and i adore him i live for him alone i am no longer myself i am him i have him in my soul in my heart in my flesh in my blood some slut takes him from me <laughs> can you believe this some slut, I repeat, takes him from me and I'm so faint hearted that I still love him and I think I would hate him in vain. I will love him always. I will be so miserable. Have you seen this? La Tosca. It is so... It, it's one of those fragrances you've got to be brave to wear but it is outstanding. Out, anybody who appreciates fragrance will be like, whoa. It's got character, it's got a story to tell, it's unique, it smells like nothing I own. Okay, those are all the perfumes, most of them, and yeah, and I've got a skincare series that I do that I need to put more effort into because I have really, really sorted out my skin and I need to share with you the things that I found and I ha I do normally on Instagram but I'd like to bring it to YouTube this brand is amazing this is a brand called Eve Lom and she is a woman who has created her own line of um, skincare and this is one of the best cleansers I've ever used and it's Eve Lom on the go cleanser and it's an all this was like a Christmas I think a Christmas special or something I don't know but um it was so cheap it was like 12 pounds on the Eve Lom website <clears throat> I ordered two and they took my money and I was like um hello where is it and they sent me an email saying we're out of stock but we'll hold on to your money if you want us to and as soon as it is in stock we will send you so they have another 12 quid of mine on their accounts and as soon as and I, I actually thought oh they're not going to get it in stock and I actually forgot about it that's a dangerous thing with doing things like that you can actually forget that people owe you money sorry so um yeah they sent me an email saying oh we have it in stock I'm going to send you I was like send me what oh my god that brilliant because on its own it's like the the size that I normally get the 100 mil is like nearly 50 pounds or more so for 12 quid for a little mini size and this is 30 mil which is quite decent and it's designed for um, travel, but it's a really, really good brand. Um, I have dry to oily skin, and my skin does get clogged up. It kind of has has the same effect as it kind of has the same effect as um, coconut oil, really. But um, it doesn't clog the skin, and coconut oil can clog clog up your skin. But it's so cute. And it's the perfect size for my little carousel. And in the night time, I can just use it to take off my makeup if 
I'm wearing makeup. I don't really wear a lot of makeup unless I'm going to work these days. And this is, what is this? I haven't used this. I have, I've only used her, her balm cleansers. This is a rescue mask. Oh, after cleansing, apply it over the entire face. Leave for 15 minutes, rub off gently. Okay, so that's a nice bedtime mask that I can use. Cool. Guys, a very healthy long video. I feel really relaxed actually, very relaxed. I'm going to cook some din dins. Um, oh, lovely. I'm gonna cook some dinner. I'm going to cook pan fried salmon and couscous with some, with just some salad. I don't really eat that much these days. I just eat maybe one meal a day. Sometimes I have breakfast, coffee, I don't have cow's milk much anymore, unless like, I do have cheese and yogurt sometimes, but I don't actually buy cow's milk, I buy Oatly. I recommend Oatly, it's a fantastic brand. Alternative milk is fantastic. Um, I go to the gym regularly and I drink lots more water. I don't have any sweets in the house. I do have my little chocolate splurges, especially when it's time of the month, because you know, we just need it sometimes. But um, yeah, life is good for me. I'm not going to complain. Um, I'm going to bring some new videos to the channel. Like I said, I love gardening and plants. And I'd like to, you know, just do like chatty videos. And maybe a get ready with me. Um, I kind of wanted to do something um, with the things that I've shown you. But I think the video is a bit too long now. So I'll just do another video when I can do a get ready with me. And we can have a nice chat. A nice cup of coffee with some oats milk. <laughs> And um, look forward to the months approaching, you know, and I feel really good. I feel really good. I have my days where I'm down and blue, but I kind of get over it a lot easier than I used to. And I'm just wishing everybody uh, a really good autumn or fall if you're in other parts of the world. And if you're in other parts of the world where you don't have autumn like what we do here in the Western Hemisphere, just enjoy your, sum, your summer, enjoy your tropical weather. <laughs> And um, I just wish the best for you all and your family and your loved ones. I'm going to pack and tidy all this up and I'll probably show you some clips of my room and little bits at the end of the video. But wishing you lots of love and see you soon. Hopefully. See you soon. Bye. Alexa, play Jazz FM.